are business cost, cost of doing business, and cost of transportation. For example, if you look at the uh, Siliguri region, then you will see from West Bengal uh, to Tripura, it is already uh, far behind. So we will discuss it. And obviously, Bangladesh uh, now it is attracting foreign investment uh, from around the world. Also, the northeast and uh, northeastern uh, investors can look uh, into the special economic zone going to be established in Bangladesh and explore and export to the European and US market and North, North American market. So let's see how uh, this connectivity can help both the countries. For example, if you uh, would like to know Kolkata to Dhaka, it is 323 kilometers, uh, Dhaka to Agartala in uh, Tripura, it is uh, 136 kilometer only. But if you would like to reach from Kolkata to Agartala, it is 1,562 kilometers. And uh, you have to have uh, drive for 42 hours through uh, a truck or bus, if you would like to go through the chicken neck. But through this connectivity, uh, you can reach uh, from uh, Kolkata to Agartala just within a day, I mean, uh, around 14 hours, and the uh, distance will reduce into one third, I mean, 459 kilometer only. So this uh, connectivity transshipment facilities offered to India by Bangladesh could save uh, their transportation cost as well as fuel cost. So this is uh, one perspective. Another one uh, perspective uh, from uh, West Bengal to Assam, if you would like to reach then obviously from Kolkata to Guwahati, it is uh, Kolkata to Guwahati, it is 1,025 kilometers, almost 25 hours journey. But if the trans transshipment facilities could be used, then Kolkata uh, to Guwahati, it will be half of that distance. And, and the time will be to 21st hour. So this uh, types of uh, Transshipment facilities uh, could be used by the, I mean, Northeastern entrepreneurs, business person, and they are also allowed to use uh, Chitong port, also Mangla port. If they, they, are, they start international business through Chitong port, then it will obviously, from Guwahati to Chitong, it is only 600 kilometers, and Guwahati to Mang Mangla, it is 700 kilometers, where if Guwahati to uh, Kolkata port, they would like to use Calcutta port, then it will take uh, almost triple the time and the distance is much. So from connectivity perspective, uh, not only uh, roads connectivity or sea connectivity or air connectivity, would like to see the connectivity from physical connectivity, obviously transport, ITC, energy, these types of sea, air, and land, road, and railway connectivity. But also we need institutional connectivity which was discussing by His Excellency from Meghalaya, Mr. Kakon, and, and that trade liberalization and trade facilitation is required there. Uh, only parliamentary members uh, meet is not enough to proceed something. Uh, I would uh, like to uh, request uh, His Excellency to include a business delegation in that talk. Without actual business person, uh, to person business to business communication, nothing will be happen at, at the end of the day because uh, parliamentarian, I mean policymakers, will not uh, involve, I uh, will not do business. So include business person, include medias, include st other stakeholders as well. In uh, if you would like to uh, make it effective, the gathering effective, then uh, our connectivity through investment and service liberalization is needed. For example, in Bangladesh, uh, India has a recent, uh, I mean, uh, notice that only uh, people from neighboring state has to uh, have prior uh, approval to have investment. There is a van, I mean, there is a VAR to invest in India by Bangladeshi uh, companies. So if you would like, you don't like to be economically integrated, how this uh, connectivity will work out. Uh, so you have to look after this. Also, mutual recognition is, is another important uh, issue. Uh, if Bangladeshi BSTI, Bangladesh Standard and Testing Laboratory, uh, certify something that it is safe, then obviously Indian counterpart or other neighboring states has to uh, has recognize it. Otherwise, these types of only testing recognition 
will take much time and international trade being uh, deferred. I mean, it will, uh, cost of doing business, international business will be higher. So in such case, regional transportation agreement also needed. We have agreement with India uh, for road, sea, air connectivity, but to uh, utilize it fully, we have to have uh, developed the logistics facility, required logistic facility. For example, if you would like to use Bangladeshi, uh, I mean, river line, so you have to have also considered the uh, dressing cost. You have to have uh, considered the dressing cost. Otherwise, how uh, uh, if the river riverways are not uh, navigable, so how they can use it? So cross border uh, production also uh, possible, but we have to ha have come up with open mind to uh, facilitate trade uh, to uh, to uh, harmonize trade and also remove uh, the barriers from uh, of trade between the. Uh, to neighboring friendly countries and people to people connectivity is very important uh, mr kakun was mentioning that uh, education cultural exchange is there uh, tourism uh, yes northeastern state i visited gohati last year and i found uh, tea states uh, the hill hilly region and the uh, i mean uh, lakes lots lots of natural beauties over there but due to insecurity uh, situation and due to uh, conflicting, I mean, uh, uh, cross border arrangement, the trade is not happening. And international business uh, travel is uh, almost uh, closed now, and border is not open. Every day, uh, lots of Bangladeshis are killing in the border. Why? If you are a real friend of Bangladesh, you would like to really facilitate trade between the countries. If you would like to really enjoy the facilities, uh, I mean, transshipment facilities that are offering by Bangladesh, you have to have uh, uh, make the security of the uh, border. If uh, border, uh, we hope border killing will be stopped soon. The options to be connected. There are many options. Uh, to be connected with the northeastern part uh, of the country you see our first uh, road connection was from west bengal to agartala tripura uh, this uh, road is um, very much useful now and trade are happening the secondary road from uh, calcutta to uh, sundarpur uh, through guwahati this is also uh, in operation now uh, beside this road connect connections we have many ways to be linked with the northeastern region through railway connection. You, uh, our Prime Minister and Indian Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, has opened up uh, another new connection from Bharampur uh, to the Shahbazpur Road uh, just two days ago, uh, in 17th of uh, December uh, 2020, just two days ago. So not only this, we have several points uh, to offer uh, railway connectivity from uh, to the northeastern states uh, with the mainland India. Also, uh, after railway connectivity, we see uh, Bangladesh is located in such a place where many river connection uh, could be happen. Brahmaputra. It is. Uh, I mean, uh, while I was in Guwahati, I saw Brahmaputra is uh, much. I mean, richer there, but whereas. Due to drainage shortage in Bangladesh, many parts of Bangladesh uh, part, Brahmaputra is shrinking out. So uh, dressing is required for this. Who will do this dressing and dressing? So therefore, a regional fund could be organized and regional initiative could be take place to uh, ensure uh, proper drainage, dressing of Ganges and Brahmaputra. If the Ganges and Brahmaputra and Magna uh, also Gumti, these types of river uh, could be maintained properly, then obviously the landlocked uh, northeastern region will not remain landlocked. They can also access uh, with the Bay of Bengal through Chitong and Mangla port, even through also Kolkata port also. So, but uh, these types of uh, river uh, facilities has to be maintained properly. Then uh, we have land ports. Uh, with the uh, northeast, we have uh, Bibirbaja land port in with Kumilla and Tripura. Then we have Akhaura land port. We have Tamaburi land port, we have uh, Haluagat land ports with uh, the 
north northern part we have also borimari land port these ports are uh, very much